right? You can use lime, you can squeeze some lime into this if you want to, but we're gonna eat it just like that. All right, here we go. Mm. One more bite. Mmm. <laughs> Talk about messy. What's going on everybody? Big D here from the Faded Channel and we are making fish tacos today. Specifically, spicy Asian style fish tacos. All right, folks, I know tacos weren't invented in Asia, but we're just gonna make it a, uh, you know, uh, uh, an Asian flair, or give it an Asian flair, right? So, first thing we need is a nice big fish. Check it out here. So, this fish was caught by Nate, also known as Uncle Bates, uh, so over at Aurora Reservoir here. So here's me, Seven, Dave, and Nate, also known as Uncle Bates, reeling in the fish at Aurora Reservoir. Oh, wow. Nice, <laughs> dude. Is that my 24? Holy cow, that's a fat one. Check it out. Dude, that's a tank. Seven, that's my biggest fish. Can you see? Okay. You gonna give it to Holy DJ? cow. Yeah. Okay. DJ gives me a bite. That's a salmon. Dude, that's a monster. <laughs> that's my biggest trap. Oh my God. All right, we're gonna cook this bad boy. I'm scared yeah. right now. Pretty cool, huh? Well, thanks for the fish, Nate. I appreciate it. Uh, so yeah, let's prep this big beautiful fish here. First, we're gonna start off by just filleting it and we're gonna take the skin and everything off and then cut it into chunks. We're gonna batter it and then deep fry it. All right, let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is clean our fish. As you can tell, I already prepped this fish. I went ahead and scaled it and I cut the fins off of it. And I also gutted it too. Check it out, nice and clean, right? Look at that. Nice and clean. All right, let's break it down by filleting it. There we go. Look at this beautiful fillet, huh? All right, let's do the other side. And there we go. Check it out, the other filet. All right, if anybody out there makes knives and would like me to feature their knives in uh, one of the videos, right, or be the official knife partner of the Faded Channel, let me know, because I could use some nice knives. Now, I'm not saying shun or bad knives. They're actually really good knives. All right, so this we are gonna keep because we don't waste anything, and bone crackers are really good. Here we go. All right, we're gonna fry the head as well. So let's cut that in half. Here we go. So this fish does have big pin bones, but we're gonna cut those out. All right, there we go. A nice fillet with the pin bone removed. So, just gonna cube it up, just like that. All right, let's just put this into our bowl. There we go. Just like that, let's work on the other side. All right, now let's season our fish. 
starting with salt. Now, most of you guys are telling me use the Himalayan pink salt. Use any salt you want, folks. I'm just gonna use simple Morton's table salt here. So give it a nice salting. And then our next ingredient, as usual, is gonna be garlic powder. Just good old Costco garlic powder. You don't have to use anything fancy. All right, mix it well. Okay, our next ingredient is gonna be simple cornstarch. All right, just put in, you know, a few tablespoons or so, and uh, mix it well. Get your oil nice and hot. Bring it up to about 400 degrees, right? And grab yourself a beer. Hey, what else are you gonna do, right? Cheers. So I like to use an electric fryer, right? Mainly because you can regulate the temperature on it and be pretty accurate, right? If you take a look on your electric fryer, you'll see a setting here, right? From warm all the way up to 400 degrees, right? I've got mine on 400 degrees right now. And we're just waiting for it to uh, come up to temperature before we drop the uh, fish in. All right, our oil is nice and hot. So let's get our fish. Hot oil here. Alright. Oh yeah, baby. Alright folks, make sure you use a basket. Don't be dumb like me, okay? <laughs> Alright, let's check up on our fish here. It's been frying for about uh, 10 minutes or so. I would say, yeah, that looks done to me. Alright, let's drain it and put it on some paper towels. All right, our fish is looking mighty good there, right? So we're letting it rest for a few minutes because we don't want to burn our tongues. All right, here we go. All right, folks, our fish is done, so let's make our sauce. You're gonna need three items. You're gonna need sour cream. Doesn't have to be Daisy, it could be any type of sour cream. You're gonna need some sesame oil, any type of sesame oil, okay? And then you're gonna need sriracha. That's right, I said sriracha. I know it's expensive right now, but you need to get out and get you some. All right, let's mix our sauce here. Start with the sour cream. Put it in a bowl, just like that, look at this. Yeah, all right, that should be plenty right there. Okay, now we're gonna add our sesame oil. I'd say eyeball it, maybe a good two or three tablespoons. And now our sriracha. Depending on how much you like the spiciness, be anywhere from quarter cup to half a cup. All right, here we go. Ooh, look at that, just like that. I like mine spicy, as you can tell, so I'm gonna use a lot. That uh, should be, all right, should be good, right there. All right, mix it well. There we go. One hour later. All right, once you're done mixing, the end product should look something like this, see? Now, if you add a lot more sriracha, it's gonna be a lot redder than this, but it's also gonna be a lot spicier as well. All right, let's make our tacos. All right, so our food is finally done here. We got the fried fish, got the tortillas ready to go, got the kimchi, the cucumber, and the cilantro, as well as our secret sauce. And we got our beer. All right, so let's assemble our fish taco. So let's grab a tortilla, so we're using uh, corn tortilla, you can use flour tortilla if you want. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our fish, all right, just like that, maybe two pieces. And then we're gonna grab our secret sauce here, the sriracha sour cream. Now I like a lot on mine, right? So just like that, maybe a little bit more. There we go. All right, the next thing is the kimchi. Don't ask me what brand, use any kimchi you want, whatever you're comfortable with. All right, and then we're gonna put the cucumber for our crunch factor, and then cilantro, just like that, okay? Look at this. Now, if cilantro makes everything taste like soap, obviously omit it, right? You can use lime, you can squeeze some lime into this if you want to, but we're gonna eat it just like that. All right, here we go. Mmm. That is a good taco right there. Mm. 
Well, that's it folks. As you saw, real simple to make, right? So I hope you attempt to make this at home, either with the fish you catch at the lake, the rivers, or at Costco, right? If you decide to buy some. All right, so big thank you to Seven, big thanks to Nate, also known as Uncle Bates, Dave, right? So we caught this fish over at Aurora Reservoir. If you're wondering what we use, cheese power bait. Come on, you guys know Seven, right? All right, folks, thank you for tuning in. Cheers, stay faded.